Hello, and thank you for taking time to learn more about our management system today. You may be wondering what it's all about, why it matters, and how it's going to affect you. I hope you'll learn more about that in this session. We all know that international and offshore is a very successful and growing business for Petro Canada, and that we're shifting our emphasis towards operating our own assets where it makes sense to do so. So you'll understand that in order to maintain and improve our performance as we grow, we need a strong infrastructure to help us do so effectively. We also want to change a few things. For example, we want more consistent application of best practices, and we want a more systematic approach to managing risk. There are two main reasons for defining our management system. The first is unavoidable. Regulators demand it. In order to operate in countries like Norway, the UK, Holland and Trinidad and Tobago, we have to show governments that we have a well-documented process in place and a sound way of managing risks. The second is our own strategic aim. In order to grow efficiently and quickly, it simply makes sense to have clear and consistent processes for managing, which we replicate appropriately in each new territory. We don't need to reinvent the wheel each time, and we can bring new people on board much faster. So what is our management system? Well, I think of it as a formal description of the ways in which we manage our business. We already have those largely in place. What's new is that we've now described those in a single, clear map. A map of how we do things. A map of the expectations we have of our managers. A map of how our processes, assets, risks, and organization all link together. Formalizing our ways of managing will bring some changes. These include a model of business processes that define best practice and support learning and continuous improvement. And they include more clearly focused accountabilities and non-financial authorities. There's also a consistent approach to risk management. Of course, our success as a business depends on all of us using our experience and judgment in collaboration, as well as on the consistency of our ways of managing. Personally, I don't think it's a choice between one or the other. Using our common management map and sharing our individual skills and experience work together. If we get that balance right, our management system will bring us several benefits. Greater efficiency and effectiveness, a better understanding of our risks, and a platform for bringing together and continuously improving our best practices. Of course, you'll want to know what's in it for you. First off, you'll now have the means of understanding more fully how things work around here and undertake work in a more structured way. And with the help of a new online application that supports the management system, everyone will eventually be able to share and access our procedures and policies in one place. Furthermore, as we develop the content in the management system, people will be able to see more clearly that the potential risks they face are being properly managed. Developing a comprehensive and detailed management system is a huge undertaking and we can't achieve it without your involvement and support. We've aimed our sights high, and we've chosen to do this work carefully and thoroughly. We expect our management system to stand the test of time and to grow with us. The task isn't simply one of developing fancy software. It's about getting people to agree on and define how they do things and what the risks involved are. That takes time. I'm very grateful to the contribution that managers involved in this early stage have put into it. We'll ask more of you to contribute as we develop it further in the months and years ahead. Your input is critical. So in conclusion, I think we've made a great start to a long journey. We have a single map and we have a capable new tool to help us navigate it. As you learn more about the management system, I hope you'll see how important it is to get it right and how we need to keep evolving it. Indeed, I hope we'll look back in a few years' time as an even larger operator and ask, how did we manage without it? Thanks for listening.